you know, you just educated me on something. I thought that it was a split. Um, maybe the girls take home 40%, the pimp take home 60%. Are you saying that the average pimp take all the money and just pay your bills? But let me give you the caveat to that, right? Uh -huh. Say for instance, you got five bitches, right? And all of them go to work. And they all go to work that night. And when they go to work, as soon as they hit the track, the uh, fights pick them up, take them to jail. All of them got a $5,000 bail. That come out of your pocket. If you got five girls and only one girl break that night and she make money, that come out of your pocket. It ain't all profitable. There's gonna be it's just like in any business, you know, it's, it's it's peaks and valleys. So sometimes, you know, you can have five or six girls, but they all might not make money. You know, the police might be sweating the track, the track might be hot. So how are you gonna make money if ain't no money to be made? So sometimes, you know, they give you all the money, you know what I'm saying? But you can't pay half the bail. You gotta pay all the bail. If they gave me 50% of the money, then I'm only gonna pay 50% of your bail. So how you gonna get out of jail? You know what I'm saying? So you know it's best that you give me all the money. So if your bail five thousand, I don't. I'm not gonna just pay twenty five hundred of it. You got your twenty five hundred. Of course you don't got your twenty five hundred. You're in jail. So, but if I, if we got agreement that I take care of all the bills when you pay that when you go to jail for that five thousand, if I don't have five thousand that you made, I'm gonna take five thousand out of some, some of the money that the other girls made. So we're gonna be robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, you know, when we, when we go out to dinner, we all going to eat steak. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, if you ain't made steak money, you should be eating a, 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 a double stack for Wendy's. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, because, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we're a family and because we're putting all the money in one pot, then, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take the good with the bad. You know, you had a good day, you had a bad day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but your good days and your good days add up to us a good day. And your bad days, you know what I'm saying, me, is going to be compensated by her good days. Is it against the rules or against your rules to actually sleep with your women? Well, if you're in the game, who else are you going to sleep with? You ain't for to sleep with a square because the object of the game is, you know, Pim say, you know, it's purse first and ass last. If you think I'm handsome, pay my ransom. If I'm going to take a chance, give me my money in advance. Meaning that you're not sleeping with absolutely no square bitches whatsoever. You're not going to sleep with a woman that's not a prostitute because you're in that game. To you, it seems unusual. But if you look at the ratio of prostitutes catching AIDS or getting disease, it's way slimmer than the people that's in the square world who's getting AIDS and getting BD and, and end up the clinic every day because they're using protection and you're using protection. So it's two layers of protection. Whereas in a square relationship, you may be the uh, the good husband at home, but you out fucking all the bitches in the club. So you're making it, you making your woman vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so you know, your woman, you know, are fucking all the men, you know, and, and going to the gym, telling you she's going to the gym or going to Walmart when there's a a a a, a, a Holiday Inn right next to Walmart. You think she's at Walmart? She's really at the Holiday Inn with a friend. You know what I'm saying? Fucking on you, cheating on you. You know what I'm saying? But she's not using no protection. But with a prostitute, she assumes that everybody that she has sex with has got a disease. So she got to protect herself. She used two condoms. And then when you come home, she come home to you, you assume that, you know, maybe a condom broke or maybe, you know, she might not, you know, protect herself. So you're using a condom. You know what I'm saying? So you're always protecting yourself. But, you know, just like you and just like anybody else, the pimp got to release too. So the only the only girls you mess with as a pimp is prostitutes. Well, that's the only girl, that's the only girls you're supposed to mess with. Now you will mess with a square girl if you're trying to enter into your stable. Like I might meet a girl, for example, she's from the project. Where, where you from? What part of New York? Bronx. So you from the Bronx? You meet a chick in the Bronx. She's a freak, right? Everybody mm -hmm. down in her, but she ain't getting no money. But she's a square. She ain't no prostitute. So you're going to try to get up under her and talk to her and you're going to mess with her. You're going to say, look, all this sex that you have, and you're making absolutely no money. Just imagine you was getting paid for that. In that instance, you have to deal with her because you're trying to flip her. You know what I'm saying? You know, but if you was in the game 
and you had seven or eight girls and they found out that you was messing with a square girl and they were paying you, they're going to go choose up on the next pimp because they're going to consider you as being a phony. So, so that's a violation in that world. Yeah, yeah, that's a violation if you get caught. Oh. These guys who have uh, wives and have other situations and stuff like that that they deal with, you know, and, you know, me, when I was in the game, I was 100, you know what I mean? I didn't want to mix it. I didn't want to be, you know, labeled as that, you know what I mean? I wanted to be 100. I wanted, you know, I chose the lifestyle, so I wanted to be a perfectionist, a perfection in the game. So I I, I, I kind of, you know, kept it 100. You know, I didn't mess with no square bras, you know, and nothing like that, you know. When I was in the game, I was just trying to, you know, you know, do it the best I can. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.